everyone welcome back to always on learning today's video is going to be very interesting because today we are going to play a game the name of this game is name place animal and thing so let me tell you how to play this game i'm going to give you a letter and you have to write name of a person name of a place name of an animal and name of a thing big name with that letter so if the letter is l then you have to write a name so you can write clara if the letter is l then you have to write a place big name with the letter l so we can write london now you have to think of an animal starting with the letter l so we can write lion and now comes thing a thing which begins with the letter l so we can write lamb and we are going to select the letter by spinning a wheel and after i spin the wheel and i give you a letter you will have 10 seconds to think for the answer and you can share your answers with me by writing it down in the comment section below so let's spin the wheel and get a letter so the letter for you is a now you have to think for a name place animal and a thing big name with this letter a you have to in seconds okay time's up now let me share my answer with you so the name that i wrote is arthi the place that i wrote is australia the animal that i wrote is alligator and the thing that i wrote is arrow so you might be wondering why are we playing this game and what are we learning from it so we are learning nouns so what are nouns nouns are name of a person place animal thing and even ideas or feelings so this name arthi the place australia the animal alligator and the thing arrow are nothing but nouns now i said ideas or feelings so what do i mean by that ideas or feelings are something that i cannot hear i cannot see I cannot smell and I cannot taste, but I can feel it. So let me give you an example. When I say anger, I cannot hear anger, I cannot see it, I cannot smell it, and I cannot taste it, but I can feel it. Now that you know what are nouns, let me see if you can identify the nouns from these sentences. So here I have few sentences for you. The first one. Tim has a book. Second, he lives in India. Third, we all want freedom. So now you have to identify the nouns hidden in these sentences. Okay, so the noun is Tim and book. In the second sentence, the noun is India, and in the third sentence, the noun is freedom. So this video was all about nouns. And if you like this video, then give it a thumbs up. And for more such interesting videos, do subscribe to our channel. Always on learning. Thank you.